Yo, what's up guys, Universal Mastery. So, what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences to an extremely practical level so that you can use them in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results. So, what I'm doing in today's video is continuing on the archetypal series. Today, we are going to be talking about the archetype and the tarot card of the Lady of Justice. So, if you wanna know a little bit more about the Lady of Justice, and how this specific archetype has affected my life from my own personal experience is, um, and is something that I'm going to share by the end of this video, then definitely stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is definitely make sure you go and check out the Patreon. On my Patreon, I have exclusive videos, okay? So half of those videos are going to be are going to be geared towards actual practices that you can apply in your day-to-day -day life that are going to give you spiritual, psychological, emotional um, empowerment. It's spiritual practices, things in the nature of chakra empowerments, things in the nature of certain types of meditations and techniques that I break down on video that tell you and teach you exactly how to get in touch with the spiritual energies around you and how to literally communicate with a spirit itself, how to do an invocation. Okay, so half of the videos are going to be geared towards that and the other half of the videos are going to be geared towards educational entertainment, which is a video that is just like this, okay? The videos entertaining, but it's also giving you a lot of value at the same time. So where you're going to be able to find the Patreon is if you go to the description, you'll click the description of this video, and it's going to literally be the first link at the very top. It says my Patreon right next to it. And in order to gain access to the exclusive videos, you have to at least be a tier two member or up. So in order to be a tier two member, it literally costs $9 and 95 cents a month and that's a reoccurring payment but if you do the math that literally comes out to less than a dollar a day so there's really no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that with the value that i have on my patreon and last thing i want to give a special shout out to the top tier members of the patreon already their names are going to be mentioned in the parentheses below okay so other than that let me go right into this all right let's see here okay so here we go Path 11. So once again, if you are new to this archetypal series, definitely go to the very first archetype, which is the Joker archetype. I have it in parentheses. It says start start here. And it says from it says on the, the first archetype, which is the Joker, it says path zero. So start from path zero and work your way all the way up to 21. Okay? So that's that. Okay, and the reason for it is, is because in those beginning archetypal videos that I made, I give you a little bit of the foundation of where I'm pulling these archetypes from, where they're coming from, where it all stems from. And if you're watching these videos, yes, you're still gonna gain value, it's still gonna be you know good for you to watch, but if you don't have the foundation of where I'm getting these archetypes from and you don't understand that, then you're gonna be missing a huge piece of the puzzle. Okay, so here we go. So path 11, this is the path of balance, the way of justice, the qualities that you're going to experience and that you're going to be influenced by when you are working through this pathway, when you're working with this archetype of the lady of justice, the qualities are going to be balance, diplomacy, design and art, symmetry, lawyers, justice, courts, open enemies, relationships, contracts, marriage, balance between extremes, um, and that's that. Okay, so the description of this archetype and of this tarot card and of this pathway that connects on the tree of life, um, this path joins severity and beauty, okay? So let me, um, so severity is going to be Gavura, and beauty is going to be Tiferet. So it's going from, this is the pathway, path number 11 is going from the very middle of the tree, the heart center of Tiferet, and this pathway is going to connect right up to Gevura, which is known to be one of the most violent spheres on the tree of life. All right, so this path joins severity and beauty. It focuses on balance, justice, law, peace, and relationships. It is the path of lawyers, court, contracts, compromises, and negotiations. 
pay attention, oh, excuse me, pay extra attention to your partners and significant others, especially marriage partners or partners in work. Judgments concerning issues of the heart arise often, and those on this path must make all sorts of decisions all the time. Judge wisely with balance and avoid swings to the extremes. This path also rules beauty both inside and out. Those on this path often find themselves engaged in creative or artistic pursuits. Find the beauty in harmony to connect to this path. Make an effort to redesign your work or living space. The affirmation of this uh, path is, I am in harmony with life, balance and in equilibrium. Justice will prevail will prevail, and I will be rewarded for all of my efforts. I generate peace and tranquility to all of my relationships. The psalm is, I have seen an end to every purpose. Okay, the astrological aspect for because this is a balanced uh, path and this is a balanced archetype. The astrological aspect is going to be Libra. Okay, so the tarot card is obviously going to be the Lady of Justice, and this symbolizes the balanced decisions demanded on this route. She holds the scales of justice, but her eyes are blindfolded to prevent her from being influenced by the outer appearance of those she judges. So I'm going to say that again. She holds the scales of justice, but her eyes are blindfolded to prevent her from being influenced by the outer appearance of those she judges. Don't be overly swayed by external beauty. Don't let your eyes deceive your better judgment. Okay, so listen to your intuition. List, um, try to see into situations and see into them rather than just seeing them and making your decision based off the appearance. Look into it, dig a little bit deeper, okay? So the challenges that you're going to experience when you go through this path working and when you take on this archetype of the Lady of Justice, these are the challenges that are gonna start to influence you, okay? The challenges are gonna be superficiality, confusing outer with inner beauty, okay? We just talked about that blindness to problems or difficulties, indecisiveness, and hypocrisy, okay? The Hebrew letter is going to be Lamed, and this means both to teach and to learn. Hebrew offers no distinction between learning and teaching. A true teacher always learns when he teaches. A true student teaches while she learns. That gives and take, oh, excuse me, that give and take uh, epitomizes the same balance required to build functioning relationships. Lamed stands precisely in the middle of the Hebrew alphabet, further stressing this road's mandate for equilibrium. Okay, so that's the notes. That This is the notes that I have on the Lady of Justice. This is the archetype of the Lady of Justice. Everything that I just mentioned um, from my own personal experience, once again, is right on the dot. Now let me give you a little bit of what happened in my day-to-day -day life when I was actually going through this archetypal pathway myself. So this was, uh, this was an interesting time. This is right around the time um, when I had left, uh, this is right around the time when I had left Equinox. So I was working at Equinox and I had left. Um, and that's just the way my path was going. I could tell that I reached, uh, I, I had reached the threshold of working at Equinox and I needed to go in a different direction. Um, and it was very clear to me. Um, now, uh, yeah. And, and, you know, I also left on, I left on like with Equinox, I left on good terms with everybody, except there was one person that, that, you know, I didn't see eye to eye with. And that was that, that was that person that I've mentioned in the other archetypal videos that lead up to this one. Um, there was a person that was just giving me a really hard time. Um, and he was just, he was just really going out of his way to try and like suppress me. It seemed like, and, um, and so he became like, kind of like an open enemy, kind of like we understand we're enemies and we don't like each other. Um, so that I know it mentioned that in this, um, in this description and that's literally how it was. You know, when I ended up leaving Equinox, he was my open enemy. He was somebody that I know I don't like, and he knows he doesn't really like me. Um, and that's just, it is what it is. And yes, I still learned from that person a hundred percent and he still learned a lot from me, but we don't have to like each other. You know, this is how life is. Um, so 
I had just left Equinox and this is also, once again, this is the path of balance. This is the path of artists, artistry and creativity. You know, you can, you can get, you can um, have a great opportunity to work on your artistic endeavors and creativity, uh, cr you could say creative endeavors uh, on the, during this archetype, the Lady of um, of Justice, and um, during this pathway. And what I found myself doing, literally, when I had left Equinox, the first thing that I started doing was building my YouTube channel. So I would not be making this video right now. I would not be here right now if it wasn't for this archetype, if it wasn't for this pathway, because it provided me an opportunity to step away from the job that I was working, which is a really busy and time consuming job being a personal trainer at Equinox. And I was able to step away from that and I had a month to myself, a month with no job, a month to just literally build my YouTube channel. So what I would do is I would go to the library and I would start working on my channel. I would go on YouTube, I would study, I would use their Wi-Fi um, and I would figure out how to build my channel, how to do thumbnails, how to do everything that I'm doing right now is exactly what I, I did during this month. And I created, you know, I created my YouTube channel in a professional manner. Um, once again, the way it is now, and and uh, I've made tweaks to it, you know, leading up to this point. Um, but I, I made it very, you know, professional in my eyes. Um, and yeah, so that became pretty much the foundation of my YouTube channel, and that happened during this pathway. So that was that was me working on my artistic and creative side of myself to make sure that I have this channel that I can that that I feel is. Um, you, you could say worthy to put out there like if I'm gonna put stuff out like if I'm gonna put content on the internet I want it to be out in a professional way okay and that's why I have my channel set up the way that it is um, so I did that during this pathway and then another thing happened this kind of ties into the whole law and the justice and the court thing and then the lady of justice like literal literally this pathway and this archetype the name of it the lady of justice literally manifested in my day-to-day -day life so I, um, I got my car towed, okay, so I was living in Miami at the time, I was living on 7th Street, and I parked my car, and my car was literally like a foot, it was like this, it was like this far off of the curb, so um, it was a little bit farther out, but that's a normal thing, like people do that in Miami, and it was, I couldn't get in any closer, because the two cars that were parked uh, in, in front and behind me were too close, so I couldn't inch my way in. So I did my best to park as close as I could to the curb, but I was still popping out like that much, which was not a lot. But I ended up getting my car towed. So I wake up one day and I realize my car's not there and I'm like confused. And then I, you know, I have to make some phone calls. I have to figure out what's going on. I have to call the towing. You know, I, I realized my car probably got towed. So um, I had to call the towing areas around me and figure out where my car was located. And I found out which towing company took my car. It was Tremont Towing. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Um, even though, you know, it was what it was. It was, it was part of the path. Um, so they towed my car. Um, and then, you know, I was upset because they towed it like right on the weekend or right before the weekend. So I couldn't get my car out because they closed during the weekend. So my car had to stay in there and the longer your car stays in the towing company, the more money it costs to get it out. So by the time I took it out, I think it was like, I want to say it was like $200 or 200 some dollars. And I was upset um, because I didn't feel like they had a right to tow my car. I really like, I mean, when you go to Miami, you see tons of people that park that far out. It was like not even bad at all. It was not, it was not crazy at all. Um, but it was what it was. They towed my car. You know, once again, it's all part of the path working. It's a part of this archetype. So I wasn't aware of that then. Now I am. Um, but they towed my car and I was like, all right, whatever, you know, I'm gonna just take you guys to court. I'm gonna take you guys to court and I'm gonna have you pay me more money than what I just paid you. So I ended up going to court. So this is tying back into the law aspect, the lady of justice. And sure enough, the, um, uh, the lawyer, uh, okay. So, so the lawyer that I was going up against was a female. So there's one form of the lady of justice. You could say, um, yeah, the, one form, you know, the, the lawyer. And then we have the, um, the judge and the judge was a lady as well. So I was sitting in the courtroom and I had my case open and everything. And, you know, I'm, I'm in court trying to get justice and the lady, uh, the, 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 the two ladies that I'm trying to get justice, 
I'm trying to get justice and I'm in court with two ladies, the judge and the lawyer that I'm fighting against. So that is a pure manifestation of this literal pathway, the lady of justice. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to follow up on that court date, uh, meaning I showed up to one of the, one of the court dates um, that I was supposed to show up to. Um, and I couldn't show up to the next one because I had to find a job and I had work on the day that I was supposed to go to court and I needed to go to work and I needed to make money so I could pay my rent and things like that. So I couldn't pursue that any farther, but if I, I know for a fact, if I had pursued it, um, I would have won that case. I know that's a fact. I know I would have. Um, but yeah, so that was, um, now that I've studied this archetype, the lady of justice and this path 11 and have figured out that, uh, the qualities and the challenges and the attributes and the description and things in that nature, it literally lines up to literally exactly what happened in my life when I was initiating through the tree, going from Malkuth all the way up to Tipareth. And when I was in Tipareth connecting into that Gavura, that path 11, um, and to Gavura, that sphere through the path 11. This literally manifested, like all this stuff that I just read off manifested in a very profound way. And also one of my good friends down in Miami during this, um, uh, right after I had left Equinox, me and him got to connect even deeper because he was a really good friend for me. He was really good. Um, he just gave me a lot of guidance and you know, it was, it was like a balance, a very balanced friendship. So whenever me and him would hang out, it was a very like, we're offering a lot of value in each other's life and we're making sure that we're we're staying balanced as individuals because there's a lot of friendships these days that kind of get out of hand and get out of whack where one person is out of balance and the other person's out of balance and it turns into a toxic relationship but me and this person in particular we're very balanced uh, we're very balanced people uh, very balanced individuals and we brought a lot of um, understanding and wisdom to each other's life um, and I, could, I just remember being working through this archetype being friends with him hanging out with him and recognizing that that like wow it's like because it takes effort to do that it takes effort to be that balanced person and make sure that you're hearing what the person's actually saying so I really got to listen to my friend. My friend really got to listen to me and we go, we just went a little bit deeper than what the average uh, superficial kind of friendship is. It was just like, yeah, no, I get what you're saying, but I think this is what really is, you know, the, the case here. I think this is really what's going to be in your best interest. I know you want to do this, but look, just hear me out for, for this second. This is what's really going on. So we, we were able to talk on that level because we were, we were actually had a friendship. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Literally, like that was exactly what manifested in my life at that time. Um, obviously it goes more in depth, but I don't need to really share that right now. I mean, you don't need to know the whole thing. You just need to know the, the idea and you need, need to know the base, the, um, you could say the, the basis of what the experience was like, um, going through that pathway 11. Okay. And once again, I was literally in the courtroom with the lady as a judge and the the lawyer that i was fighting against the, as a lady and this is literally called the late the path of the lady of justice so the archetype all right so yeah i'm gonna wrap it up here guys i uh definitely make sure that you hit the thumbs up hit the like button if you enjoyed this video because i love making these videos um then come down here hit the subscribe button and go right above that hit the notification bell because i'm posting videos as often as i can and you do not want to miss out because there's a lot of value on these videos once again where you're going to be able to find my patreon is the first link in the description is right there at the top so definitely make sure you check that out then go to the second link below that's going to take you to my Streamlabs merch page where I have ex um, where I have shirts on there with a Hecate sigil okay and if you place your order they will literally ship it right to your door just like Amazon Prime would um, so I have that so definitely make sure you check that out that's the second link below then go to the third link below that's going to take you to my Facebook community when you click that link you're going to see my Facebook community then there's going to be a link that says private group here click that link request to join the private group i'll add you in um, and what i do on there is i post extra content in the form of written and in the form of quotes okay like picture in the form of like written um in in pictures with quotes on it so definitely make sure you check that out um, but other than that guys and uh other other than that ladies and gentlemen guys and gals i hope you have an amazing rest of the day or night wherever you are watching this video right now and I will see you on the next video. Peace.